guys, today we're going to have a short video, we're going to have a look at this little 3 amp power converter. It basically is a little power supply that takes a higher voltage, such as my 7.4 volt, volt battery here, and converts it to a lower voltage. So this one is based on an LM2596 chip, which is a power converter chip, and I got this on eBay, and the uh, eBay seller states that the little module here should be capable of taking an input voltage from 4.5 volts to 28 volts and it should be able to convert that to an output voltage between 0.8 and 20 volts with a 96% efficiency but I presume that 96% efficiency is only at one particular voltage it's probably it's, it's at its best whatever that is and it does that by uh, switching the voltage with a frequency of around about 1 megahertz according to the eBay seller so that's basically what it does it's just an alternative to a voltage regulator and because it's a switching uh, regulator it should be able to supply more current than our uh, normal regulator would be uh, because the other regulator uh, a standard regulator uh, with 3 amps going through it would probably be getting very very hot so this is an alternative that shouldn't be as hot you know, if, if we had a normal regulator on our tractor we might start to melt wiring and, and stuff like that so this, this should be a good alternative and I'm going to use it uh, when I need the 7.4 volt batteries brought down to the 3.3 to 3.7 range that uh, most of my tractors are going to be able to operate on so that's what we're going to check out today so if we take a look at the back here, we can see a little arrow, that's telling us which direction our uh, voltage conversion is going to be. So this is our input on this side and our output on this side. And you probably can't read the writing here, but on this side we have the grounds. So it's negative and they'll be, uh, they'll be connected directly. So this ground is the same as this. And we have our input on this side, our input positive and our output positive and if we look at the front again we have a little trimmer pot here and that little potentiometer uh, will adjust our output voltage so if we hook it up to the battery I'll give you an example of what it can do okay so now I have my 7.4 volt battery connected to the regulator and if we adjust our potentiometer we'll see our currently we're at 6.3 volts so we'll see that voltage drop or possibly go up uh, depending on which way I turn the potentiometer so, okay, so there's our voltage is going down. There's about 3.3 volts, is what we want. So let's try the other way, see, does it go up over? So it looks like 6.3 is around about, oh, maybe. No, I'd say 6.3 is around about what it will go to with uh, the 7.4 volt battery on the high end. So, try to go down. There's our 0.8. So we're able to get to the 0.8 volts there uh, when we screw it down. But we want around about 3.3 volts. So there's about 3.3 volts. So I'll get an Arduino and we'll uh, load down this, uh, this regulator and see does our voltage change. Okay, so now I have an Arduino connected up here. There's nothing else connected to it. It's just the Arduino. So if I connect that to our voltage, keep an eye on our voltage here and see does it uh, change. There we go. The Arduino obviously wasn't enough of a load to uh, change the voltage. Or the uh, little chip is very good at maintaining the set voltage. So. Uh, this seems to be a good voltage regulator or alternative to a voltage regulator so that's basically how the regulator works and you're going to see this regulator popping up in a few videos of accessories that I'll be making in the future because I need this larger 7.4 volt battery to drive some bigger motors that I have and it's going to need the regulator then to regulate the voltage down so that I can power the tractor from the accessory 
and that's that's basically what I plan to use it for. So keep tuned in for uh, those videos in the future. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, post them below. And that's everything for the day. So thanks very much for watching.